Can somebody find a lace? Because I can't find it. And that's what you call Milton Lace, like a MFN Pro. Yeah, so <laughs> let's get into it, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, just go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your bells because we is putting books on next with this one right here, okay? Now, today's hair is provided by Ali Pearl Hair, and they've sent me over this HD lace wig, and it is a 24-inch, nice and full. I was believe it was 180% density, and of course, it's natural color, baby. And when I tell y'all the quality on this wig was bomb, like one thing about good hair, you can look at it and tell when it's quality, and this hair is giving, okay? So like I mentioned, this is HD lace wig. As you can see, when I put that lace up against my hand, it blends right in and disappears, and that's when you know you have true HD lace. Now, today we'll be using Asia for the model. Baby sis, I did her a quick little soft beat so we can have her looking good for the timeline and for this video. So, I've already started off this video with a nice little ball cap method. And I just took my beautiful hustler uh, skin protectant and spray her hairline. And I'm just blowing drying that, you know, on the heat setting. Now, before we get into this video, I know everybody's going to ask, when is the next restock? When are you going to restock on this? When are you restocking on that? Ladies, gentlemen, everybody, beauties, listen, restock will be on next week. I'm shipping out the rest of the second batch of orders for these, uh, this recent restock. And I will be restocked on melt belts, lace glue, lace gliders, edge control, lace uh, remover, skin protectants, wax sticks. Like, we will be restocking. So, make sure you guys have your notifications turned on. You do not want to miss it. And I don't want you to hear me tell you that you missed it because you have been fairly warned. But, of course, I will let my beauties know ahead of time when that restock will drop so you guys can get your coins ready, get your, you know, already be on the site, be on the product page, do what you got to do, baby, because you don't want to miss it. Now, y'all know I'm going to slay her today, and we are using the Beautiful Hustle Lace Milk Adhesive Max Formula New and Improved, baby. This is the only formula. I do not sell two types of adhesive, just this one here, the updated formula. And I know people are going to ask, what's the difference? One, as I mentioned before, the consistency is thinner. So honestly, less is more. You don't have to use as much because a little bit can take you a long way. Two, it dries even faster. As you can see, as I'm applying the layers, like one side is drying so quickly before I even finish spreading the other half. And three, it the hold is just phenomenal like extra strength maximum strength like it is really the real deal and i cannot wait for you guys if you didn't do so already purchase it and let me know what you think about it because i know you guys are going to love it because i am honestly obsessed but however once i apply all of those layers to her hair i'm gonna go ahead and you know begin to melt the lace and just a few things you should know yes i did bleach the knots on this wig yes i had to pluck but only just a little bit because this wig came nicely pre-plugged it really really did but i really wanted to I'm talking about scalp 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 to the infinity power with this install baby so you know what I'm saying? I ain't arrogant Tay, but I'm going to be arrogant Shay. You feel me? So, <laughs> don't mind me, y'all. But I'm finna really, like, kill this install. I cannot wait for y'all to see. But anyways, once I finish adding all the layers, I will go ahead and begin to melt that lace in. So, just keep on watching. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications because we will have some uploads dropping back to back. So, stay tuned.
I did want to mention with y'all, like, we really had to kind of, like, finesse this wig onto Asia head because it just, it didn't fit, like, all the way, but based on the finishing results, you can't even tell that it did not fit all the way because when you have techniques, you can really finesse <laughs> any hair situation, like, for real, for real. Like, it really takes some you know, some real experience in the game to really know how to finesse laces, especially with wigs that don't fit as good as they should. So the wig fit good in the middle, of course, but when it came down to like the size area, the the wig was kind of coming behind her hairline. And I believe this is a medium sized cap. I mean, everybody hairline is different. Everybody head shape is different, but I would just recommend you guys to get you know like a size up just in case you know just in case um even if you are a medium size head it just don't fit your hairline perfectly because y'all know some wigs will fit your hairline perfectly some don't but you know at, at, at most times we just make it work so i really made it work like to the t because based on these finishing results baby we were slay to the gods so yes i did have to really really pull the wig down on her size so i would just recommend going a size up as far as your cap size but once i got it into place i still you know just had her hold it and i blow dried the lace on the heat setting and i also went in with the hot comb to really um you know melt that lace into her skin and y'all know <laughs> lace adhesive or that lace made adhesive max is gonna get the job done regardless but you know just techniques also just get you there to the 10th power so now that i blow dried it and hot comb the lace i'm just gonna go ahead and tie her down with that melt belt and ladies please do ladies and gents make sure you let that melt belt sit for 10 minutes the longer you let it sit the melted you become okay you feel me and i think that's the goal we all want to scalp every single head we touch and that's how you get your clientele up that's how you get your views up that's how you get your followers up quality work and neatness so now that we went ahead and removed that melt belt we're just going to go ahead and cut all the extra lace off this side around her ears just to make sure the wig is sitting nicely and you know comfortable and um, once I go ahead and do that on each side, you know, I will go in with that lace glider and cut off that extra lace. And y'all know this is HD lace. And y'all can already tell because it's attached to her, you know, the lace is attached to the uh, wig still, but it's still blended, like, to the teeth. So that's how you know we about to, <laughs> yeah, kill them. So I'm going to go ahead and slit the wig down the middle. And y'all know I go in my red tail comb and I pull all that extra down. Y'all know Asia do have like a little low hairline. But as long as you apply the glue and the natural uh, shape of her hairline, when you go to cut off that extra lace, it should lay perfectly and right in place. So I'm going to go in with that fresh lace glider and glade, you know, glide that lace off. And you guys will see this lace disappear like it was never there. So just stay tuned and keep watching. So we went ahead and cut that extra lace off and I just want to show y'all real quick we're gonna do a pull test this is after cutting off the uh, extra lace and the wig is attached attached it's not moving it is not lifting and this is right after we remove the melt belt this is not even after the second step melting process like when I tell y'all the hold is not to play with like your wig is going to be stuck as it should and I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of like pre-game her styling um, so I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, bust her down the middle real quick. And as y'all can see from the thumbnail, 
we are doing bust down the middle with the two little, you know, strips in the front with the two little braids and some loose curls. And this style was so cute. Like, this is a look that's kind of trending, but to be honest, instead of the braids, people do like the little twisties. And y'all ain't gonna believe me when I say this. I cannot do twists for S-H-I-T. I know y'all like, what? Girl, you can't do the stiffest thing in the world? Twist has just never been my thing. Like, I literally will have to practice doing a little, you know, scalp little twist. Because it's like, I could twist it, and then when it's time to put the rubber band on, it just don't be tight. It just don't be pretty. I just get aggravated, and I just be like, you know what? Everybody got their thing, and this one right here is just not my thing. So, I just had to, you know, do what I could do. I could braid. So, instead of doing a little two twisties, I end up doing a two braids. But I actually love it better with the two braids. So, y'all let me know what y'all think down below at the end of this video what y'all think. Because I think it still came out raw, if you ask me. <laughs> but, anywho, nevertheless... Um, after I part of her down the middle, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of like eyeball where the center is. Because I kind of like that little V look in the middle um, when I do like the little bang pieces. Some people just go right to the middle and pull out the first two pieces. No, for me, I like to leave that little V gap in between. It just looks so much prettier in my opinion. And you know, Eric and Taylor love to do them little Vs, child. And they look so good. So that's my inspiration behind that whole little look, that little V look right there. So... That's why I like to do like the little triangle parts and do the little middle V part. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead, you know, and pull down a section for the baby hairs because I got to get that out the way too. And then, you know, we will get into, you know, spraying the hairline and tying it down with that uh, melt belt once again. And also, what I also did before we tied the hairline down the second time, I went in with a darker foundation, a slightly darker foundation, not too dark. And I tapped it across the hairline to really get that blended, blended, blended effect like to the T. Because I don't know, it's just like sometimes with Asian hair it's like depending on what kind of lace it is some foundations like I do you I have to use certain different color foundations because it you know it blend better but with her I had today I had to mix like her color with a little darker of her color and it just gave me like the perfect match today I don't know why it just happened that way but the main goal is scalp. The category is scalp, and that's definitely what we gave. So, you know, I always tell y'all different techniques work for different things. Sometimes you got to put different techniques together and make you a new technique, like just whatever works for you to get the job done and create the scalp. So I'm going to just go ahead and section all that little baby hair um, areas out, and then we're going to tie that hairline down again after applying that darker foundation.
we went ahead and let that melt bell sit for 10 minutes and ooh, do y'all see this like do y'all see this like do y'all see this see this or do y'all like see this like the category <laughs> is what is scalp the category is what lays the category is fresh relaxer the category is scalp tease like i did not play okay but don't worry i know y'all might not y'all can see it but y'all can't see it see it so i thought i'd get this little part right here situated i'm gonna zoom in for y'all so y'all can really know who the goat is okay i'm gonna just i'm gonna just have a moment of silence for this lace and just let y'all see up close and personal Y'all saw what I meant, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm not playing, okay? I told y'all I was stepping it up, and that's what I meant. And I'm stepping it up for me because I know I can go harder in this hair game. People think I be going crazy. Nah, y'all just wait until I drop these back-to-back -back uploads because I'm not playing, baby. But, however, now that we got that scalp, you know, now that we got her new scalp, I'm going to go ahead and take the baby hair sections that I will be working with and I'm just going to hot comb it down with spurs and I'm taking my lace glider and I'm chopping it down. Not as short how I usually do it because I did want more like a bigger dramatic baby hair look with this look. So um, I chopped it down like an inch in some areas and a little bit shorter in certain areas depend, you know, depending on where the baby hair was going to drop. And of course, I'm using the Got To Be Gel, you know, and the black tube, because people always ask which one. The black tube of the Got To Be Gel I am using to swoop Asia baby hairs. And I'm just doing cute, little simple baby hairs, nothing too crazy. I, I'm not gonna go dramatic or whatever like that. You know, just like a nice little swoopy swoop, just like two swoops on each side. Like I mentioned, nothing crazy, but it was still raw. So I'm just gonna take my finger in a C motion and just gonna swoop it and brush it up into um, the area that I will be braiding later on. So once I get those baby hairs soup where I want it, I'm just gonna take that blow dryer on the heat setting and just blow dry those baby hairs because yeah, I like my baby hairs to be firm and into place, but still, you know, slate or whatever. So this is the first side that I did. I'm just smoothing everything out, making sure it's perfect. And then I'm going to blow dry it and repeat the same steps to the other side. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is um, braid this section first because y'all know we're doing a two braids right here in this front area. So I'm just going to comb that hair out really, really quick. And oh, let me just say this. I always recommend if you are going to do a braided look or a twisted look, do the baby hairs first and then do your braids or your twist or whatever you're going to do. Um... I just highly recommend it that way. That way the baby hairs can look smooth and it just flow into the rest of the install. Um, some people choose to do the baby hairs like last and then now you have to worry about brushing and smoothing, you know, the remainder of the baby hairs into the style. So I highly recommend, once again, beauties, baby hairs first, styling afterwards. It makes the job so much easier. I'm telling y'all and it will save you some time of trying to blend and get everything to, you know, kind of like flow. But I'm just doing a simple overbraid. I guess you could call it French. Um I think the other one is underbraid. I don't know if I'm wrong. Hey. The blind leading the blind. <laughs> No, but for real, y'all, I'm just doing a regular French braid, and I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same steps to the other side.
So I'm just repeating the same stuff to the other side and I went ahead and did the braid on the other side. Oh, I'm just so in love with this look, y'all. Y'all don't even understand. But now I just went ahead and took the hair out the plaids. We was trying to figure out if we wanted to, you know, crisscross the braids in the back. But I honestly love the install more with the braids hanging. That way, it's cute, too. Don't get me wrong. I see people wear that look all the time. But I just thought it looked better with the braids hanging down. Like, it just gave me more of a, like, a, you know, a queen. More of a goddess, you know. It just gave me more, like girlier you know looks but now i'm just gonna go ahead and hot comb the roots of my two little strips in the front and then i'm gonna take my wand curler um and just wand curl the front pieces first and then off camera i did go ahead and just wand curl the ends of the rest of the hair simply because um i ran out of space on my phone and y'all couldn't see all that so me just being honest y'all y'all know i record on my phone um but i just felt like y'all seen me wand curl before and it, everybody knows how to wand curl so i showed you how you know did the strips but everything else i'm just gonna wand curl the ends off camera and i'm gonna come back on and show you guys the finishing look so stay tuned everything off camera and I'm just pulling it forward I took a little holding spray and sprayed it on the top and just combed everything backwards first so the top part could be nice flat and smooth and this is what it looks like after pulling the curls forward like I mentioned if you wanted to wear it back like that you could you just put a little rubber band and secure it it's Asia's lashes coming off in the corners for me <laughs> but yes so um I went ahead and curled everything and I pulled it forward and this is the finishing look I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think down below don't forget to subscribe comment like share and stay tuned and subscribe see you next time